Hey there. So a lot of you are requesting more proof as to how I read that guy in the comments section of the pyro video. Uh, one of the biggest things that I'm seeing people say is, oh, you could have just changed the date and time. Well, actually, I couldn't have. And here's why. Uh, this is Pro Tools. This is my digital audio workstation. It's what I record everything in. And uh, it has this feature where it automatically checks your internal clock. And if there's a discrepancy, then it makes it not work. Uh, this is a way for Avid, the company who makes Pro Tools, to prevent people from abusing free trials. So you can't use up your free trial, then set your clock back, and then, you know, go and use the free trial again. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to show this to you guys to prove it to you. So, why don't we go down here to date and time. Okay. And now let's go ahead and set that back to, yeah, October 19th, the, the day that I said it was. All right. So, now... You look down in the corner, it's October 19th. See? Okay. So now let's try to open up Pro Tools. And as soon as we do that, it says, Your internal clock needs repair. Something, something, license, something, something, invalid, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is, it doesn't work. Okay? So I couldn't have gone in and changed the time, otherwise this would have happened. So now let's go ahead and close out of this. Quit. And now let's change our date and time back. So let's go down here, date and time. And go back there and change it back to November 2nd, which is today when I'm recording this. Okay. So now we're back at November 2nd, see? And now let's try and open Pro Tools again. Huzzah! It works. Okay, so hopefully this is proof enough that I couldn't have messed with the date and time and I actually recorded it when I did. If not, I don't really know what to tell you. So yeah, there you go.